This is 18 News Right Now. And good morning, I'm Michael Galray. Thanks for waking up with us on your 18 News Sunday morning brief. Before we get to those headlines, let's check in with 18 Storm Team Meteorologist Austin Evans. All we're at the weather wall in Austin. It's cold once again. Um, what's the deal out there today? Good morning, Michael. Yes, it is cold and unfortunately showers are going to continue today. We do have a dry start to the week to look forward to, but I hope you like snow because we're about to get plenty of it or at least enough to uh, get us by our highs for today. We're looking at highs in the upper 30s. Probably won't hit that 40, 40 degree mark and we are tracking snow moving into the area through the afternoon and pockets of it might be moderate. Uh, more moderate uh, snowfall, so be mindful of that. If you are traveling, it could impact your visibility. And as we get into the later evening hours, some wraparound moisture might mix in some rain with it as well, along with the mixed precip. But as we go into tomorrow morning, it's going to be nice, and tomorrow is going to be really nice. Highs approaching that 50 degree mark, but for now, highs in the upper 30s today. It could be breezy at times as well. Unfortunately, tonight dropping down to right around freezing. A chance of mixed showers overnight, but those will be tapering off well into the overnight hours. And like I said, check out Monday, high of 47. Like I said, we might hit that 50 degree mark, but it's the only decent day out of the week. When it comes to the weather, a lot of chances for showers through the rest of the week. And we could see some slick spots in the early morning hours. And now, Michael, today is palindrome day, or it's a palindrome, which means the date can be written forwards and backwards, and it works internationally. And the last one was on November 11th of 1111. That's uh, so pretty fun fact. So over 900 years ago, no mention of rodent, rodents here. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's a really cool, fun fact there, Austin. Thank you so much. Here are your top headlines. Governor Cuomo announced that the state police will partner with local law enforcement agencies statewide to crack down on impaired and reckless driving during the big game weekend. Here in the Twin Tiers, state police officers and the Chemung County Sheriff's Office are working together to help keep motorists safe. And a person who had recently been in China has been hospitalized in New York City and is the city's first suspected case of the coronavirus. A spokeswoman for Mayor Bill de Blasio said that the person had been staying in a hotel and visiting New York City. TSA is sending out a new security directive to airlines in the United States. Uh, amid the rapid spread of the coronavirus, airlines will be required to ask all passengers to book on flights from outside of the U.S. if they've been to mainland China in the last 14 days. Chinese nationals coming from China and connecting through foreign airports will not be allowed to travel. U.S. citizens who have been to China in the last two weeks will have to be rebooked to seven major gateway airports. And for latest news, weather and sports, be sure to watch WTM TV or visit MyTunTiers.com where we are always on. And don't forget to like and follow 18 News on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm Michael Garay. Make it a great Sunday.